mint chocolate smoothie. A mint chocolate smoothie, and this is so yummy. But the best thing about this, it has colors, and it's super good for you. It's gonna build your immune system up, and that's gonna help all your cells be healthy. That's really and cool. And we want to show you just how to do this today with the ingredients that we have here. And today we have some frozen bananas. When those bananas get kind of old, like you don't want to eat them anymore, like spots, you know, those black and brown spots yeah. that happen to your bananas, well, don't throw them out. You can peel them and put them in a plastic bag, stick them in the freezer, and then you can make a smoothie like we're going to show you today. The other thing we have here today is some spinach. Now, you might be thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to drink my spinach. But in this recipe, it is super good. You're not even going to taste it. Mm. And then we have some sweetener. This is called stevia, and it's sweet, but there's no sugar. Remember, we want to pull that sugar out of the things we eat, because when we don't eat sugar, we are healthier. Our immune systems are stronger, because sugar actually helps to depress our immune system. It makes us susceptible to many diseases and things out there. And so pulling out the sugar is good, and this is still sweet. And then we have some coconut milk. And this is really yummy. I love mm. coconut milk. The next thing we have is some mint. Now this is a mint oil that we're gonna mm. use in our recipe. And then we have some cacao nibs. Let me show you what this looks like. Organic cacao mm. nibs. And these are actually from mm. the fruit Pod, the seed, the little bits of bean, and it has powerful antioxidants in this. What that means is that it's going to work very hard to keep your body nice and healthy. So we have some of these and they taste like chocolate. And so now we're going to get started Hadassah. What we have here is our high powered blender. We're going to take the lid off. And I'm gonna let you fill that up with some bananas, some frozen bananas. And we're gonna make enough so your grandpa can have some too. How many? Um, let's put, you know, let's put at least four bananas in there because there's three of us and we're gonna probably have to break those down a little bit, Hadassah. Well, like, take your frozen banana and kind of break it in a couple of chunks to help that blender out. Um, let's add another one because we want this to be nice and thick, kind of like it's going to hand that to me, honey. We want this to be nice and thick. It'll be like a ice cream kind of. So now we're going to add our spinach. You want to go ahead and add that. There we go. Our beautiful spinach. Look at that color. This is all about eating our colors today and green is a natural cleanser of the body. Let's put all of that in there. I actually like spinach. You like spinach? Yeah. I like to put spinach in a salad. Mmm. That's really nice. I like salads. Salads are delicious. Too. Salads are delicious. So then we have our coconut milk, and I'll go ahead and add that. Ooh, that had some fat in there, huh? Coconut mm. has natural fat. So we have our coconut milk. And then we want to add our, remember what that is? Mint. That is our mint. And I'm going to let you add the stevia at this point. And you're going to have to squeeze that. Squeeze it. Yep. And add a few drops. Add about 10 drops because we want that to be nice and sweet because it's going to taste like mint ice cream. Right. <laughs> you added more than 10. I yeah. think that's okay. All right, let's get the lid on there and the plunger. Oh. We're not adding this oh. yet. She wanted to add these, but we're gonna add this to the very last. We're gonna get this nice and smooth first. And put it on our blender. And we wanna put this inside too because we're probably gonna to have to use that to press it down. Now, when you turn on your blender, you always wanna take it down to the lowest possible setting, which is a one on this Vitamix. So let's go ahead and turn it on, Hadassah. Take it all the way up. Nice and blended up at this
this point, and that is a beautiful green color right there, mm. huh? Yum. You know what? It's not super thick. We could add another banana. You want to? Yeah. Because that's going to make it more like a milkshake. Add the rest of that. So you can decide how thick or thin you want it to be. And by adding more banana, it's definitely going to get thicker. It's kind of like making a cake when if you add more flour, the dough gets uh, more sticky. Mm -hmm. and Or like buttercream. When you add more sugar, it gets uh, thicker. And when you add more fluids, it gets thinner. Awesome. That is some good information. We're going to stick this back up here. And one more time, Hadassah, let's blend that up. Okay. All right. I think that's blended. Now, before we drink this beautiful smoothie, and you can see that green color, we're going to add our cacao. And do you want to do that, Hadassah? Let's add our cacao nibs. Good job. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just blend that just a little bit to mix it around. Take it up. Okay. And you can kind of see if you want to come on over here and look at it, that it's got chunks, little black dots, like chocolate chips in it. Mmm. Yum. Ooh, that looks really good. I like that green color, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty green. Here you go, Hadassah. Let's cheers. Cheers. cheers! We're gonna have new baby goats tonight. Let's cheers to baby goats. Cheers! Mmm, mmm, that's really good. Mmm. Do you like that? Would you know that you're eating spinach? No. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Yum. It tastes kind of like mint chocolate ice cream. It does taste like mint chocolate ice cream. Mm. Mm. Well, you know what? If we don't hurry, we're going to miss Lily having her baby goat. So we better get yeah. out of here right now. <laughs> what does your grandpa think? What do you think, grandpa? Well, I'm going to get back to it, but I'm going to finish it. It was real good. <laughs> I'm so excited because Lily is having her baby. And we're trying to rush out of here and get to St. Mary's. Because the babies are going to be here. Yay! Papa. Papa! Shh. Shh. Sorry. Sorry. Papa. It's going to miss it. No, it's not going to miss it. You still have to get the head. The head is I can't wait to see the head. Right behind the shoulder. Look at the little tiny head. I'd feel better if I saw two heads, though. Why? And then I would know that coming out right, he doesn't have one leg backwards. What would happen if it has one leg backwards? Then its leg could be injured if it's not coming out right. <clears throat> oh, She'll have to assist. Look at how the Luna is comforting her. Mm -hmm. That's amazing to me. <laughs> She's comforting her mama. Yeah. There's two oh, hooves. It's there's kind of like, hooves. it's kind of yep, like going There's poop. two hooves. This is so cool. Wow, the baby is big. That's a fat Whoa. Don't Honey, don't, don't get in the way. Sorry. I'm going to see. That is so wow. cute. Good job. Good job, oh. big mama. Let her get out. Oh, my. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do I see a little baby nose? The <coughs> <coughs> nose is right on top of the hooves. Oh, yes! How precious. Push it. Come on, Lily, you got that.